Okay, so I've already backed up my old uh, Android system. And I'm using Clockwork Mode. Uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So. Still have to wipe it. This is all on the ZTE Blade. Generation 1 with OLED screen. And now. Um. Not the zip. Install zip from SD card. Choose the zip one. And. There is the Cyanogen mod, final release for Blade, and now it installs and I think I'm gonna fasten up this video, so see you later. Still the Google Apps. And off to reboot the system. Oh, and just now see that it's not <laughs> really clean the display. Ah, oh, that looks better. Well, it has a nice boot screen, but now it takes some time again. So, speed it up. Okay, and here we are. <clears throat> so, I have to enter the pin code. I'm just going to sway it away. And here we are. Probably will switch to there you go, German. But for the video we'll switch it back to English. You guys want Aussie English, India? I'll use the US one. So now it's the normal stuff. But as you can see See, some people got it on Android 2.2. Now it has this nice slider to put the cursor at the position you want. So there you go for the password. It's a bit confidential, kind of. And I think I misspelled it, but who cares? Let's try. Weep weep weep. Sign it in. So this stuff may take a little bit as I'm like um, shaped over 3G. I only got 64 kilobits. K bits, whatever. So let's take just some stuff. Street View. YouTube. Whoa screen was off I'm sorry so when you will blah 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 except well this is German again hmm. who cares so I will not talk a lot because this might take a little while because I'm shaped so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit
So now it asks you if it may use Google Location. That's okay, I don't care. Backup and restore with Google. So it actually, this time, it really back up, back ups, back ups your apps, but, um, but, um, uh, the thing is, it doesn't store the personal data the apps create, so you just have the app like freshly installed, but still, it just runs automatically. So this backup and restore will take some while because I'm still shaped, so I'll speed it up again. There you go. So, let's check it out. As you can see, this looks a lot like gingerbread because it is gingerbread. So, uh, still kind of laggy because in the background, still. Um, downloading the apps but we're gonna overclock it the ZTE blade runs fine with 710 megahertz so you might see it's already a little bit smoother um, it, this has nice features also you can turn the screen this way now it's off screen a little bit, but also it runs sideways this way too. But let's go back to normal style. So let's switch on Wi Fi. Hope it already knows mine. Well, you can <coughs> report some statistics like stuff when how, how many times you booted and stuff like that. It's anonymous, so. It might help the developers, so switch it on. Yeah, which uh, nice features it still has. You can put actually, there's uh, a little bar down here, so you can put some apps on there. The energy widget has some really nice new features, so power control. As you can see, um, you can switch on portable Wi-Fi hotspot now, and you have a switch between 2G and 3G. Also, down here, you have some nice stuff like, uh, if you switch on Wi-Fi, the phone will switch on only 2G, so it saves some power in the background, and if you switch Wi-Fi off again, it snaps back to 3G. and some other stuff so let's just like try uh, this one out yeah that's one which is whatever so we switch Wi-Fi off did I actually switch switch the option on uh, I can't oh whoops can't remember but there you go see it went over to 2G already so let's check out if YouTube is there already no can I show you up to now okay this is like one of the main features you now have uh, DSP It's not like high resolution, but still, it's better than nothing. 
Didn't try anything else. So it has three views, but still no maps. Wow. Come on. As you can see, there are some new launcher actions. Like, uh, hide the status bar. Joop, boop. And like always, I will try out, but probably won't run. I like to hear online streamed music over UMuse, as they put mp3s and converted uh, mp3 online radios uh, and put it over to AAC plus into another codec which is more compressed and still sounds good so actually the advantage is that I can hear streamed music over GPRS or shape 3G Always need the dolphin browser for that. Ooh. Come on. Well, that worked really well. Okay. Maybe we have a first bug. Huh. Oh yeah, maybe because um I think it was installed already in the Dolphin browser and the Google Apps restore is running right now because it's already downloading so might have to do something with that. As you can see, uh, something like 39 it's set up there. So it's actually installing a lot of apps. Let's see what showed up already. Well, not a lot. Okay. My everyday use, I use 2.1 because of the AC streaming feature over XEER Live. That's a special program. It's a media player which uh, actually exceptionally well streams online radios. It works under 2.2 and 2.3 with MP3s, but it doesn't work with AC Plus. So that's actually why I'm still on 2.1 all the time. Oh well. As some stuff is still installed, I think 